Hey guys, it's Brittany from Coffee Planner Mom and I'm here today to plan the week in my catch-all planner. It is June the 8th through the 14th and these are Lights Planner Action vertical insert size for a classic HP. So this week I am going to be taking part in a challenge. I want to bring the information on screen. So the challenge is being hosted by Queen's Fancy Plans and Katie Did underscore plans. Those are their Instagram handles. The hashtag for this challenge is BLM Planner Challenge. So this is a Black Lives Matters planner challenge. So the idea behind doing this spread is to just use black and white quotes. So I am a little bit limited on my like solid black stickers that I have in black washi. Almost everything is going to be black and foil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be trying to stick with black and gold and hopefully um, like it is in the spirit of the challenge. Um, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've pulled out some decorative stickers like I really don't have much. Um, I did pull out some washi tape but it's I mean it's black and white so I have my white and gold washi tape um, and then I have my Dalmatian print. Just pull them up. And then the black and gold. So these are all simply gilded washi tapes. And I have, I'm going, oh, oh, went the wrong way with that. I'm going to be using glitter headers just because I have black glitter headers. So it's kind of perfect. Um, these are actually from Sweet Fox Papery. Um, this is definitely a glossy, but that's okay. It's not like I'm going to be writing on them. Um, and then I pulled out this sheet of flags from the Giving Girl, and these are Eyelet Heart Flags in Ash Gray. So I figured that would, that would go, I think. I mean, it's, it's a very dark gray down here. It's, I don't think it's a pure black, but it is, it's what I have. And like I said, I'm doing this in the spirit of the challenge. Um, so like I said, the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and get the glitter headers down. So I'm going to get that done. I might put some washi down at the bottom. So I'm going to get those finished and be back in a second. All right, so I, I went ahead. I did not do anything on the bottom of the page. I just have the glitter headers and I ended up putting down deep dots just so that I have those done as well. Um, so what I'm going to do, I want to, I want to make sure that I just go ahead and start getting things functional. Um, so I'm going to grab these heart checklist from Rose Colored Days. How have I been pulling them? Okay, I've actually been pulling them from down here first. So I, oh, you know what I'm gonna do too, actually. I'll have to find it. Um, so these are gold foil. I don't think I got light gold. I think this is the regular gold. And I'm going to put a checklist over here on Monday. And this is going to be my cleaning list for the week. So I'm going to use this sheet of stickers from Naomi Love Designs. And it says clean and dust. So I'm going to use that right up at the top. So like I said, I'm going to try to use black and white stickers and only pull in the foil as needed. And then I want to have another one on Thursday. Um, I don't have a header for this one. So the way I plan is I try to get all of my cleaning done on Mondays because like then I have the rest of the week for whatever. So... That's why I have that there. I'm also a chronological planner for the most part. So I'm gonna actually put this like in the late morning going into the evening. 
And I put that down a little bit crooked, but it's okay. I put that one down a little bit crooked too, so it's fine. All right, so we've got those. Um, now my husband, okay, so there's a couple of things that I need to mark off. My husband has physical therapy. This is his last week, um, but it's not, not over yet. Um, I mean, the physical therapy is over, but he has to go for more treatments. So his sessions are Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We also have scouts on Monday. So that is exciting, sort of. Um, guitar on Tuesday and then golf at some point. I don't even know when. All right, so for the physical therapy, I have these quarter boxes that I printed out. Um, I made these when I was still testing how to print and cut stickers. So I am going to offset it. Um, I am a chronological planner. So I like to kind of organize it so that it's morning, afternoon, and then evening down at the bottom. Um, sometimes I will like get off from doing like, like, you know, like do something else um, instead of doing it that way. Sometimes I will just, and I'm going to put this up a little bit more just so it's not like right in line. Um, but yeah, sometimes I will do something a little bit different but for the most part that's how I am it's just easier for me to plan that way um, I am going to try to get in most of the yeah, I think I'm gonna go this way with it no I think I'm gonna come down here Nah, we will put it up here um yeah payday's next week okay but I want to try to get a nice amount of my functionals down so that I have them down. And then I have a quote to put down that I'm fairly certain I'm just going to put over here in the sidebar, I think, or the sidebar, the weekend. Um, don't usually have a lot of stuff going on on the weekends. So it's a fairly big quote. So I'll put it over there. Um, I'm going to use these to mark off the kids' activities. So things that are definitely happening is scouts at 6 p.m. Yes. Scouts at 6 p.m. over here. And then here's another case of just going to stagger it just for the sake of staggering it. So scouts is at 6 p.m. but guitar is also at 6 p.m. over here. But I don't want them perfectly in line. So just for just for vision's sake, I'm gonna put that up a little. Um, and then, if it doesn't rain, golf is Thursdays at like two or something like that. I don't even know because it has rained ever since every Thursday since we have set up my daughter's golf lessons. Um, it, it, it's what it is. So. I am going to put it here and then what I've just been doing for the last few weeks is like writing golf and then when it gets rescheduled I just put move to and then whatever it gets moved to. Usually it gets moved to the weekend. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually above each of the physical therapy boxes I'm going to put an appointment sticker so these are actually hand lettered by me. So I'm going to use the thicker brush lettering font and I'm going to just kind of put it, oh, it's perfectly sized. Well, I mean, I, I made it like an inch and a half wide. So the columns are an inch and a half wide. So I have made these an inch and a half wide so that they actually take up the whole column. And of course the boxes are also the same size as the column. So, um, Anyway, all that to say, I'm just gonna put this up here so that it's just a little bit pretty. Oh, yeah, I did say I did those, okay. Yeah, while I'm doing the scripts, because I have them all in the same, um, same sticker album, I'm going to just put, yeah, I'll put Towel Tuesday down here. Because like, well actually, I can put it up here. 
I think. And if I don't like it, I can pick it back up. June is a very busy month in our family for birthdays. So I think what I'm actually going to do is pick these up. So this sticker paper is actually removable paper, but I'm not, it's not my favorite. All right, and then I have a birthday script. So I used the skinnier one last week, and this week I'm going to use the thicker brush. It is my nephew's birthday, and he is turning three. Yeah, oh man, he's turning three. Oh boy. And then Wednesday night is trash night, so I've got my trash night script. There we go. Gave me a little bit of a problem, but I got it. So we've got a trash night script. Wednesday is our family movie night, so I'm going to use this popcorn. Oh, yeah, hold on. I'll use this popcorn sticker, and then I actually have a movie night script as well. And I'm going to grab. So this is another sticker from Naomi Love Designs. So there's two sizes on here. There's this like itty bitty and that's the one that I want to use. I'm going to stick it right down here at the bottom of the popcorn. I think that's cute. Now Fridays I usually do a Manny. So I'm going to go ahead and just gonna stick it down here at the bottom. So that's also from Lily Annabelle's plans. Um, now her shop is no longer open, but I do have quite a collection of stickers. So I'm still, I'm still using what I have. So yeah. All right. Now I do want to get down my videos. So I probably shouldn't do that next, actually. While flipping through my Lil Annabelle's Plans album, I saw that I have a black and white trash can, so I figured I will just be a, a little bit extra and scoot this underneath my script. Now, the reason why I wanted to wait to do my video stickers is because one of the videos is going to have to go on Saturday. So I want to get my quote lettered. So I'm going to use this Tombow, here we go. It's a Tombow Fudenosuke, Fudenosuke um, brush pen. And this is a soft, no, this one's the hard tip. I do have the soft tip. So they came, oh, it's got washi stuck to it because of course it does, because I'm Brittany. Um, so it came as a two pack and one has a black barrel, one has a blue barrel. They are both black ink. It's just that this tip is softer and this one is harder. So I think I'm going to use, I like the harder tip better usually. So I think I am going to go with that one. I'm a little nervous. Something is telling me that I should use the softer tip though. Now I'm just going to go with the, the one that I'm comfortable with. And I'm going to try to kind of use this as a guide so that hopefully I am not going too crooked. Maybe I should just kind of pencil in some marks. Now, I'm not going to pencil in marks. I'm going to just kind of eyeball it. So let me get my quote down. All right, it was really important to me that the quote was very big. Um, I do kind of wish that it was up a little higher, but honestly, there's literally nothing I can do about that because I drew it on the page myself. 
but I am really happy. I'm, I love the size of it. The reason why I picked that quote, and it says, in the end, we will not remember the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Um, that quote with everything that's going on and there, there's a lot of posts going out and I was seeing a lot of quotes, but this, this quote, it's a Martin Luther King Jr. quote, has really stuck with me. It really hit me and this is the one that I wanted in my planner. So that's the one I went with. Um, very quickly, I do want to just letter June over here. None of my months have the, like none of my weekly spreads have the month in them. They're all just undated. So I want to just take care of that. All right, now that I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and get some videos marked off. Um, honestly, I don't know what's going up this week, what I'm going to end up doing. Um, I like to mark my videos, by the way, with coffee mugs because I'm coffee planner mom and I just kind of think it's clever. So and this is what I do. Mm. I don't know. I might not. I think I'm going to kind of keep it minimal. I don't know. I might not actually put some up. I refrained from putting up the majority of my videos last week and I did put up my on the go planner. But even that one I was kind of hesitant to put up. I, if it wasn't for this challenge, I probably would have reconsidered filming a video this week altogether. But I wanted to go ahead and get a video down. Yeah, I don't really want to put anything else on the weekend. Like I'm sure something will come up, but that I'll want to mark down, but I kind of don't want to mark anything on the weekend. Like I like having the quote be the focus over there. So I'm gonna stick this over here. My even though this video is gonna go up on Saturday, this is my regular plan with me. I do want to put down a dinner's script in the sidebar. That's just where I keep track of all of our dinners. <laughs> um hmm. Let's see. I want something to break up the month and the next sticker. So I'm going to take a little bit of the washi tape. I haven't used any of it yet, but I am planning on getting it thrown in now. So I'm going to overextend it just to make it a little bit easier to trim. And I think I'm actually just going to rip it. Nope, I don't think I'm going to rip it. That did not come off the way I wanted it to. I'm going to go slow so I don't rip the page. Alright, and then as I'm laying it down, my goal is to have three bows in the sidebar and just try to keep it lined up evenly. Alright, so... You can rip washi tape and a lot of times I don't really care if it's not perfectly even but I just this spread is really important to me to get it done right and make it look good so I am going to slice it with my Fiskars blade just so that it's a little bit more precise. Um, it was ever so slightly under so oh and I went a little fast and I ripped the page. That's funny. Okay. Ow, stabbed myself. I'm okay. I'm I realized that I was getting myself so I went easy. Alright, so we're going to do dinners over here in the sidebar. And then what I'm gonna do I think that should be enough space for me to actually write in my dinners. So I'm going to go ahead and put the, um, my finger feels like I still have the sticker stuck to it, even though I don't. So we're going to slice. 
so oh um also I do want to mention so like I said this spread is part of the Black Lives Matters planner challenge um but the hashtag is abbreviated BLM just because it's that's how it is it's a pretty long hashtag though so it's probably why it's abbreviated um what was I saying oh so this is part of the Black Lives Matters planner challenge I do have on my Instagram page an entire highlight reel that is dedicated to being anti-racist so because that was another thing that really like hit home for me is that it's and I'm pretty sure that this is a quote but I've seen it so many times that I feel like I just kind of have it memorized um it's not enough to be not racist you have to be anti-racist. So I've been doing, I've been very quiet on social media. I took the Blackout Tuesday very seriously and I've just been listening. So I've been also, therefore, trying to put out everything that I am finding that's been meaningful to me to get it out there. So it is a highlight reel because normally Instagram stories are only um only available for 24 hours so this is going to be available I don't know if they ever expire actually because I've seen things that are like 110 weeks old in like random not like yeah but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say I don't think stories highlights ever expire so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to go ahead and get down some washi tape. So I'm not going to use the Dalmatian print because I feel like as beautiful as it is, I don't think it's really, really gonna go. It's just, it's too fun. And I kind of was hoping that I would go for more of a like solemn spread. So I'm going to get washi down. I usually will flip the pages upside down just to kind of make it easier for me to pull out the washi and get it down. So this one's 15 millimeters, this one's 10 millimeters, and this is five millimeters. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but there you have it. Alright, I actually think that is going to do it for this spread. Um, I originally was going to use the white washi with the gold stars and I just I wanted to not do that. I wanted to try to, even though it could have been a black and white spread, I still wanted to go with the black washi tape with the foil. Um, so hopefully 
It still has a foil, so it still has like... Yeah, I just like foil. Um, but like I said, oh, wait a second. This, that's not finished. So one of the things that I did is I just... I just like essentially for most of them I was just kind of going by what felt right and usually when I lay down my washi tape I do prefer to do it upside down because I feel like I have more control over it yeah I'm gonna have to overextend it but that's okay um yeah it just it gives me more control so I flip my entire page upside down which is why I like using the disc planner from Lights Planner Action because it's just much easier to maneuver it as I need to. There we go. And this side, so I liked the idea of keeping some of the, like keeping the 10 and 15, no, 10 and five millimeters washi layered together. And I just really liked the idea of keeping them staggered. So one was a little bit shorter and one was a little bit longer. Um, just so that you can still tell that it is different washi. But they're, I just think it looked really pretty doing it this way. So I just kind of looked at where I had space. I considered adding something over here. I don't think I mentioned about the books. So our library is opening but it's for like you have to do res like reservations and this week is when the actual summer reading starts. Normally it would have started last week but it starts over here. So this is just to mark down anything that has to do with reading. I have quite a few books that I'm putting on reserve so I think what I might end up doing is the books that I do reserve I think I might make a list over here just so that I know what's going on. But that is going to do it for this spread. Again, I just want to bring their information over here front and center. So their Instagram ha Instagram handles are Queen's Fancy Plans and Katie did underscore plans. Hashtag BLM Planner Challenge. And I am going to have a um, like an actual clickable link to their like to their Instagram pages down in the description. So it'll be nice and easy to check. But definitely go and check out the other the, like the hashtag itself so you can see everyone else's spreads. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any of my other videos. If you press the bell icon, it'll actually give you pop-up notifications so that you'll know as soon as my videos go live. And be sure to be following me over on Instagram. Over there, I'm at Coffee Planner Mom, and I will see you guys later.